Optimizing Blender scenes, let's have a quick look. So we wanna always increase the render times of our scene and using the Meme Saver Pro add-on from the Polygonic crew. Now there is a link in the description for this add-on, so make sure you go check that out. If we open up Estimate Memory Usage, we can see up the top here that we've got 4,580 MIB, Medibyte, I think it is. And that's the number that's associated with um, storage. No, yes. Measurement used in computer data storage. So looking back at this, I got 4,580 in this scene and we can go through every object, every scene, every kind of um, piece of data. So let's go ahead and optimize it. Now, the first thing we can actually do, oh, actually F12. We can see for the cycles render time is 12.3 seconds. Not too bad. It is a very basic scene. However, let's kind of go through and clean it up a little bit. So the first thing we can do is resize all the textures within the scene. So if I were to go into all objects, I'm going to bring them down to 512 because they're at 4K. Actually, let's put it up to 1K. Let that process all the way through. This was our first render. Um, I'm going to press number two to go kind of like to the second tab of the render. Let's come into here and press F12 and let that re-render. Now you can see we're down to 9.7 seconds. 12 down to 9.7. It'll be interesting to see what this is like with a more complex scene, but we can see we're using this add-on kind of automatically reduces all the texture size, but there is a cooler thing. Go away. I have duplicated this scene multiple times down the pathway. Um, and if we select kind of like this object, period key to zoom in, we can see this is what it looks like. If we select the one on the end, this is what this one looks like as well. So if we kind of come into camera view, what we can do is actually go adaptive optimize and so this brings up a bit of a larger menu and i'm going to change kind of like the amount of change the amount of vertices and faces um automatically it's pretty much going to apply a d decimate modifier come on marco pull your socks up so lowest distance quality i'm going to make a hundred so that's kind of like all the rubbish details um further than a hundred we'll make it as low as possible and we're going to make the lowest face count 5,000. I'm just going to press OK. I was actually going to click on estimate memory usage. We'll check that in a sec. If we have a look at this object here, we can see that it is butchered. So the decimate modifier has come in, been applied to it. Now, the reason why it's done this one is because it's not in the render frame. If we come into this one, we can see this one here has 7,167. But then if we kind of start moving down 5,000, 4,000, 2000 and 600. So it's saving up more and more memory. Now, um, estimate marriage usage now. So before we're at four and a half thousand, now we're at 1,300. So we've almost quartered, quartered? Yeah, 25% of our initial usage all the way down. Um, if we just close that, bring up the render tab, and we can see there is a slight difference, but it's not too bad. Obviously with um, scenes are a lot further, it's gonna be a lot more helpful. If there's a lot more objects in the scene, we're gonna be able to use the decimate modifier and bring them down. But this is a really good way to save some of your system resources to improve render times and such. Subscribe. Now there is a link in the description for this add-on, so make sure you go check that out.